Amen. Would everybody say amen? Amen. 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 If you love God, give God a hand. Amen. Uh, with greetings to God, who's the head of my life, uh, to my pastor that's here today. I thank him for, for everybody that's been here. I've been preaching. I don't have nothing to, too much to say <laughs> at the time. But I'm going to be short with you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be coming from uh, Job. Uh, chapter 1, verses 20. All right. Job, chapter 1, verses 20. Uh, and it said that this, Job got up and tore his robe mm -hmm. and shaved his head. Then he fell to the ground in worship. Amen. Today I want to talk to, uh, about worship in tough times. Worship in tough times. Mm -hmm. time. oh, yeah. Being a true worshiper, it's not only worshiping when God does something for you, but when you can praise God for the bad, you are a true worshiper. Mm -hmm. It's easy to worship God when the sun shines. It's easy to worship when the bills are paid. It's easy to worship when your health is good. But can you worship when you're going through tough times? As we look at our text right now, we, talk, we have this man by the name of Job. Job is going through some difficult times right now. Mm -hmm. If you know the history of Job, Job was one of the richest men in Oz. Job had seven sons, three daughters. Uh, he lost his finances, his money. He lost his kids. But if you look at the text right now, we have that Job is worshiping God. All right. uh, Job, uh, I like this text because David said he, 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 he proves himself in his text in Psalms 34. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. And there anybody here that has a, a all time praise? Because when we think of when we look at the text, Job has an all time praise. He's going through what he's going through, but he praised God. He, he lost his money, but he praised God. He lost his kids, but he praised God. Is there anybody here that's been through some rough times and, and you can just testify and say, I just start lift my hands and I start thanking God. See, yeah. we have some people that like to worship when it's good, but can you be faithful to God and worship when it's tough? Is there anybody here that was low on your gas and couldn't pay your bills and had sickness in your body and family had trouble and your kids was acting up. You had problems going on and on, but you sit there and you give God some praise. Ain't anybody here that can just give God some praise for being good in your tough times? Oh, Job, Amen. Job. I like this about Job because Job has a all time praise. But secondly, what I like about Job is Job is still faithful. See, sometimes God would put you through a test to see when you remain faithful to him. Is there anybody here that's been through a test and God put you through some difficult situations? God didn't put you through that for a reason. He put you through that situation to see when you still praise him. Is there anybody here that will say, I will still bless the Lord even when I'm going through my tough times? Job is faithful. And as I close, we see right here in the text, the Bible says that Job uh, tore his robe and he shaved his, 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 his head. And, and if you could just uh, look at the text, what, what Job was doing, he wasn't just shaving his head just because he needed a haircut. You see, in that day, hair, see, in that day, hair symbolizes glory. And when he tore his robe, he was showing a whole regret, a whole of grief. See, I just want to come out and tell you that when you go in your tough, your tough times and your tough times, you got to give glory in your horrible times. See, that's all Job was doing. And he told me to tell you is when you come to your difficult time and when you're going through hell and hot water, give God some glory in your horrible time. God bless you. Oh, man. Yeah.